I encourage you to always be curious, always seek out things you love, and always work hard when you find them. Hey bro, y'all gonna have a tough one with this one today. I haven't done one of these Star Bench Cut videos in a bit, but that don't mean I'm gonna stop making them. These three guys I'm about to bring up today are universally recognized as not only one of the best at their position, but some of the best in the NBA. At this point in their career, they are all considered vets that have all seen different amounts of success throughout their careers. Kyrie Irving, Damian Lillard, and Russell Westbrook. Although all play the same position as the point, they all play that position differently and have their own unique style that has led to their success today. But from at least what I have seen when ranking point guards, obviously about 90% of lists have Steph Curry as number one, which I don't have a problem with. But when we go down to number two, three, four, or even five, that's when things get crazy. People make the case all the time that Kyrie is the best amongst the group, or Damian Lillard after a spectacular playoff performance, or Russell Westbrook doing what he's doing with the triple doubles. Whatever the case is, all of these guys have that case that can put them as the best player amongst these three guys, but that's exactly what we're going to talk about today. But y'all already know, instead of ranking these guys 1, 2, 3, let's make it more interesting and thoughtful. Y'all know how the game works, start one, bench one, and cut one. I will give you my opinion in this video, but that's just one opinion at the end of the day. Let me know in the comments who you guys will start, bench, and cut, and tell me why. But hey, enough talking bro, let's get right into it. So first off, let's take an individual look at these guys. To start off with, the only one still in their 20s, if that comes to a surprise to some of y'all. Kyrie Irving, 28 years old, for a career averaging 22 points per game, and in the last 5 seasons, when we are really witnessing his prime years, he has averaged 25, with averaging about 6.5 assists, 4.5 rebounds, shooting from the field at 48%, and from the 3 at 40%, and can almost at times be a consistent 50, 40, 90 player, which for those who don't know is someone who shoots 50% from the field, 40% from 3, and 90% from the free throw line. 6'2", 195 pounds, Kyrie is in my opinion at least the best ball handler and finisher under the rim in the league and he is known as a knockdown shooter as well. Not only is he that knockdown shooter, but even as a small guard he can make some of the most difficult shots in the NBA. He is the definition of a guard that gets a lot of guys open as he is so explosive and such a threat to the defense at all times he draws in a lot of attention. As I already mentioned, he is a mastery of the ball and ball fakes, makes him nearly unstoppable and it doesn't help that he is a top 10 shooter in the league on top of that. As far as his passing ability, he knows how to find the open guy and while yes his first priority and mindset is about scoring, that doesn't lead to him taking dumb bad shots as he is a high IQ player. On the defensive side, yes he is a small guard, so obviously you're not getting a locked out defender but Kyrie understands passing lanes and how other guards dribble so he knows how to grab steals and cause deflections. He has proven to be a clutch shooter and shows it countless times regarding where he is and one of the biggest moments of this of course is Game 7 2016 NBA Finals. Kyrie is one of the most lethal guards in the NBA and even at his size he faces no weaknesses when it comes to his scoring ability. Now transitioning onto Russell Westbrook, of course what makes him stand out is the triple doubles. For a career, Westbrook averages 23 points per game, 8.5 assists with 7 rebounds, and in the past 5 seasons has averaged 4 triple doubles with 25 points per game, 10 assists, and 10 rebounds shooting from the field at 43%, and the 3 at 29%. Westbrook is of course the man who can do it all when it comes to leaving everything left on the court. Westbrook does just that and plays with a passion a lot of guys can't relate to. Some people want to call it stat padding, but if getting rebounds like Hakeem Olajuwon or dishing out assists like John Stockton while still getting your 23 points per game helps the team, then so be it. Obviously Westbrook is not that great of a shooter at times, he can be a bad shooter, but he also at times he can be a streaky shooter however, and when he starts feeling it, that is a scary sight for any defense. He is a bulldozer driving to the paint as if you aren't there in time he will dunk it or if you're there too late he can easily dish it out 20 feet to an open 3 point shooter. As I just mentioned, up and down shooter as you never know what you're going to get. Some nights you could get 14 out of 20 from him, some nights it would be 3 of 16. But he does make the game much easier for everyone else as he remains always aggressive. Unlike the other two, Westbrook is an excellent rebounder and probably the best in full court transition. 6'3", 200 pounds, is the biggest of the other two and most athletic. 
What you get with Westbrook on a nightly basis is unknown sometimes, which is probably the biggest critique of his career, but he never cheats the game or his teammates and is always a threat on the opposing defenses and like I said earlier, is a man who could do it all at times. Now last but definitely not least, Damian Lillard. Similar size and figure to Kyrie, 6'2", 195 pounds. What Damian Lillard is known best for is his all-around greatness on offense and big moments and his ability to elevate his game from all-star level to best player on the planet. Damian Lillard, for a career of which has been all in Portland, averages a solid 24 points per game, 6.5 assists, and 4 rebounds, and for the last 5 seasons, averaged 27 points per game, 7 assists, 4.5 rebounds, shooting from the 3 at 37%, and from the field at 44%. Damian Lillard is probably the closest point guard we have to Curry in the league. Not only is he a top 5 shooter, once he crosses half court, if you don't pick him up, he is more than capable of launching it and making it as well. And in fact, if we're talking about 32 feet out, Damian Lillard is neck and neck with Curry. He is an amazing ball handler, one that never does too much but just enough to drive by his defender and has always been a leader and has elevated his ability in playoff or clutch moments in general. The stage has never been too bright for Dame and has always remained consistent at just that. Damian Lillard has always unquestionably been the best player on the team and has shown up in clutch moments countless times. He really has no weaknesses on offense as he is great at shooting, passing, playmaking, ball handling, can even get you some board at times. I can never say enough but Dame y'all already know how special he is. So as far as deciding who I would start on my team, between Russell Westbrook and Kyrie and Damian Lillard, this was definitely a tough one for me, but in the end I've seen all these guys with chances to lead their teams as the main guy, and that alone has told me enough. I chose Damian Lillard as unlike Kyrie and Westbrook, I already know what to expect when I get Lillard. He has always remained consistent and with no superstar cast around him, he has countless times led his teams through the tough west as overcame series where him and the Trailblazers were underdogs. Yeah, he probably can't get the rebounds or assists like Westbrook, but I know he will consistently give me 25 plus or 30 plus at times, doing it efficiently with less usage. And his leadership rubs off in a much better way than having Kyrie as my starter. Like I mentioned already, he has zero weaknesses on offense and for years now have been the leader you want in a point guard. So there you have it, Damian Lillard is my starter. Now for who I have coming off the bench. Now remember, this isn't who I have as the second best player, this is me saying who I think would be a more effective player off the bench. Now when I picked the starter, it did come down to Damian Lillard and Westbrook just because I know Westbrook can do it all and he will get those assists and rebounds other guards can't, but if I'm selecting someone off the bench, I don't need that kind of point guard if I already have Damian Lillard. All I need is someone who can score and play make off the bench to which Kyrie will be more effective in that than Westbrook. So yes, I will pick Kyrie over Westbrook for the simple fact that what Westbrook brings to the table wouldn't be as effective in a bench role as opposed to Kyrie's deadly and pure scoring ability. Now that's not saying I would take Kyrie over Westbrook, that's just me saying I would take Kyrie off the bench instead. So to break it all down, I have Damian Lillard as my starter, Kyrie Irving off the bench, and unfortunately but not disrespectfully, I am cutting Westbrook. Remember, this is just my opinion. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, who you guys will start, bench, and cut. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram, and I'll see you guys later.